This story is insane right here, right? So 50 Cent is on a freaking warpath on Instagram posting crazy stuff. I'm just reacting to this now. And um, this right here, you see the title. It's saying that, you know, P. Diddy allegedly used videos of Stevie J um, sleeping with someone. Um, and um, I'm going to put a link to the actual post in the description. Checking out this document from 50 Cent's Instagram, right? It's saying that Stevie J had, uh, he slept with a Caucasian man, right? Um, where there was actually a video and it also says it was unprotected when they were engaging in it. It says also that at 72, it says that Mr. Combs promised to make sure that Mr. Jones wins producer of the year at the Grammys if he engaged in, in this. Um, it also says the following is a screenshot of the video of Stevie J and this um, other male, this Caucasian male that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones. Jesus. This story is insane. But I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't sound like it's something that I'm shocked about. I think most people are not shocked about what we're hearing. We're just shocked about everything coming to the light. No diddy. Pause. Um, let me know your thoughts. There's more, so don't go anywhere. We're going to dig into more. So there's also another post that 50 posted, and um, No Jumper, though, provided some information on it, too. Um, so we're going to just check this out real quick. You see it on the screen. This was 50 Cent reacting to his baby mother being named, um, you know, a worker in uh, Diddy's lawsuit. And then on the tweet, he posted, I didn't know you were um, a worker. Um, you little worker, LOL. He says, um, yo, this ish is a movie. So now No Jumper posted an actual document and it has, you know, information on everything. And then, and then it has the baby mother's name in the document, you know, working, um, getting paid a monthly fee uh, from Mr. Combs, from this document right here. There's all these documents that are being put out there. And then there's even more with academics. He posted that uh, 50 Cent is seeking sole custody of um, his uh, son. His, I, he, ha he shares a son with this woman um, from what his report is after um, she was named as an alleged you know, worker in this Diddy lawsuit. Um, which I don't blame him for, you know, that's his son. And if she's doing all that, you know, uh, he's probably like, yo, I need to hold it down, right? Uh, 50 has been going in and, and just really reporting everything that's going on because of the fact that I'm pretty sure he's working on some sort of documentary. And um, it's all about Diddy and, and all those stuff that's going on that's really out of control. Yeah, it's um, it's called Diddy Do It. That, what a title, man. It's so catchy. Did he do it? It says original doc coming soon. Um, and, you know, you see the artwork with the case files. You know, the unraveling of what Diddy has allegedly been doing is just insane. I mean, there's so much craziness going on. You know, we've been posting a lot of, like, short videos. I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. <laughs> is this real? Dream chase looking I hope they forgive me for what I deal with Diddy. Is this AI? Talk to me. Come on, chat. All right, man. Jesus Christ. Yo, you want to smack a like What is going on here, B? This is crazy, man. That's what all big dogs, paws, and alphas do. No Diddy, you know? <laughs> Yo. Who would think, man? Who would think all this would be going down? But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these things, all you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Pay attention, pay attention. This interview was years ago. He's mentioning Diddy and Meek in the same sentence. You think there's a reason behind it? I do. Did he know? I think we got to start a petition to remove Diddy from this song. Because this is that, you know what I mean? I know me. I don't want to hear Diddy no more, man. No Diddy, right? So check them all out. He's also posting stuff about Jay-Z. He says, anyone uh, seen Jay? You know? 
Check this out now. Poetic Flacco posts this video of Stevie J wanting to shoot the fade with 50. Look at this. Curtis, right what's here. good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you like us? A little rod, bitch. <laughs> However it go, I want to shoot the fade. Since it's entertainment, let me be bitch out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What, what do you, you want to do, think? Curtis? Curtis! I mean, 50's worth a lot of money. I don't think he's going to waste his time fighting. Not saying Stevie J is broke. You know, he got money, I'm sure. He's done a lot of work. But uh, what do you guys think, man? Today, we did a reaction to a video, which was very disturbing. I'll show you a little bit of it real quick. And please watch the full one if you're trying to know more about the story. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your life? Yeah, that clip, I mean... It's just really sad when you start seeing young people like that, and it just seems really like disturbing. When I when I watched that, it was really disturbing. And then when I watched it back again, you know, because I gotta edit the video, I'm just like, wow, this is just it's unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. And me and a lot of the viewers, we grew up listening to Diddy, and uh, you know, for a lot of people, we were inspired by Diddy, you know, because he was such a successful. Uh, business person and, and he was in the music industry and um, Diddy was always that guy that was so cool right and now we're seeing all of this and like you know it's like really disturbing man you know I mean think about it. Diddy was always like on top no Diddy pause but like you know he he had the record label bad boy so successful he had the baddest chick in the game J-Lo in her prime he had J-Lo in her prime bro and now all of this is coming to the light now and it's just like, it's unbelievable. And I think that we're not even getting close to knowing more and more and more. And then we see these reports now that he had cameras allegedly in all different rooms of his home. So you, he was filming so many people. That's what the reports are saying allegedly. So there's a lot of alleged celebrities doing all types of activity that they didn't even know about. And I don't even know if that is um, legal or not, being that it's at his home. If anyone knows about that, like, you know, like that kind of legal information, let me know. I don't know nothing about that. Unfortunately, that's why we got to hire lawyers, right? But it may be okay that he has that, those cameras for security reasons, because it's in his own home. But, you know, supposedly there's like a lot of recordings and as I was saying earlier, 50 Cent is just like really covering it. He's It's like he's press at this point. But I know why he's covering it because of this documentary. He's building it up. Uh, pause, by the way. No Diddy. And um, I got to say, man, this documentary we know is going to be A1 because 50 Cent knows how to put out shows and everything he ever puts out is fire, bro. So, uh, you know, I would hate to be on that man's bad side, Mr. Curtis Jackson, uh, someone that I look at like I used to look at with Diddy. I looked at Diddy as, you know, like someone that's inspiring. 50 always would take shots at him and um, even Jay. And, and I think a lot of us are beginning to see, like, there's two different sides of the field in the entertainment world. If you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. And uh, 50's on the, on the right side, right? Um, I didn't mean that politically too. I'm just talking, you guys know what I'm saying. I just got to put that out there. Some people are so effing sensitive. They look and they grab everything and start whining and complaining. So I just need to justify that right there. Drake is putting out a lot of little sprinkles out there. We've been covering that whole situation with Ken Drake and them. So definitely check out all the coverage with that. I'm hearing that Drake got something that he's going to put out soon. I'm also hearing that Kendrick already has a song recorded, ready to go. Like, it's ready to go. All he got to do is just put it out there. So we shall see with this hip-hop civil war, which is really interesting how everyone's ganging up on Drake. Uh, why? Let me know all that. Hit the like. Anything you want me to cover, please contact me. Just hit me up on all my social or leave comments in the videos and dig into the channel. I love doing this. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like. We have a membership. I got merch in the description. All that good stuff, man. That fly, fly. All right, guys, be safe out there. 2024, like, is already insanity. We out.